this is our lesson number 62 in Sapphire Kingdom Gemology YouTube channel. This is uh, and natural sapphire inclusions we are learning. This is part 12. After this lesson, we are studying a different one. The natural sapphire inclusions, we need only these two, 12 lessons. So follow up well. If you are not subscribed yet, please subscribe and share to all. We are moving to lesson. In this lesson, we are learning mainly the thing uh, rutile silk inclusions that I already explained in lesson number two. If you forget that, you better follow the lesson number two and learn that concept well and remember it and come here. Then, the same thing here, rutile silk inside the sapphire. It is normal thing in Sri Lanka sapphires. Now we are moving to here. The lighting condition here is fiber optic oblique. Look at these places. These are the very special, very special things we can find inside small sapphires. It is like a small flying insect, small flying insect. Circum crystals, these are the circum crystals, crystals inside the sapphire. Circum crystal is inside the sapphire. It shows us the radiation induced stress hollows. The radiation induced stress we can see here around the circum crystal. Radiation induced stress holes, hollows, resembling the small flying insects. This is a common feature of the Sri Lankan sapphire. Remember this. It is a common feature. The same thing here under the fiber optic transmitted light. Here it is fiber optic oblique. We can see like this. When we change the lighting condition to fiber optic transmitted, we can see it very well like this. Certain crystals with radiation induced stress. Hellos. That hollows are here very well we can see under the oblique fiber optic. Here the radiation is not there, can't see, but the uh, stress hellos like flying insects we can see. Here. So it is a common feature in Sri Lankan sapphires. Remember that. Another common feature here. Lesson number two, I explain in lesson number two how the star created 60 and 120 degrees the angle here they are, the rutile silks are there, parallel rutile silks are there, exalted rutile silk in blue sapphire. This is fiber optic oblique lighting condition. You can see the rutile silk inside the stone. That also a common common uh, common thing inside Sri Lankan sapphires. Now here another photo here. The lighting condition here is fiber optic oblique. Earlier it is also same fiber optic oblique. You can see the 60 degree 60 120 degrees angle in the bezel supporting pinacoid plane. Here, this also a rotile silk, exol rotile silk in silicon blue sapphire. The rotile unmixes in three directions. These rotile are unmixes in three directions at 60, 120 degrees in the plane of supporting pinacoid plane. In the plane of the basal pinacoid. It is common thing. Very interesting. Here, what is the lighting condition here is fiber optic oblique. You can see the rutile silks. And you can see some discoids here. See? 
some discoids. Rutile silk has been removed from Trilon blue sapphires. Rutile is inter intercalated in three directions, 60, in the basal pinacoid plane, as we talked earlier. Only a single direction is visible in this photograph. We can see only a single direction. And these are not glassy discoids. Some people are missing this. They understand like glassy discoids and they are given the certificate as uh, heated sapphire. But these are not glassy discoids. This is not heated one. This is the natural sapphire. So remember, these are not glassy discoids. Now here we can see the 60 degree, 60, 120 degrees angles very well. Watch again the lesson number two in my channel and come here, then you can understand well because this is very important. Rutile silk has been removed from Ceylon blue sapphires. Rutile is intercalated in these in three directions at 60, 120 degrees in the basal pinacoid plane. This is fiber optic overhead light. What is this? The lighting condition here is diffuse light field plus crossed polars. Diffuse light field plus crossed polars. A surface cut crystal is remarkably vibrant when examined between the cross sections of this un untreated sapphire from Sri Lanka. This is the big negative crystal we can see. Now we are moving to next. You know what is this now? Fiber optic oblique. It is black uraninite crystals with the radiation induced stress. Hello are common inclusions in Sri Lankan sapphires. It is uraninite. Earlier we saw these circum crystals. We talked of circum crystals. The uraninite crystals are here, like uh, the halo shows us the radiation induced stress halos are common inclusions in Sri Lankan sapphire. Rutile silk is also visible below. You can see here. These are the rutile silks. Both are there. Rutile silks and uraninite crystals with radiation, radiation induced stress halos are common two features inside the Sri Lankan sapphire. Lighting condition here is fiber optic oblique. This is natural. The same thing here. Lighting condition, fiber optic oblique as earlier, earlier one, but the little bit more easily understand uranite crystal with, with radiation induced stress halo and the rutile silks, parallel rutile silks are the common two features inside the natural stones, Sri Lankan stones. Please subscribe. Give a like, share and a comment. Now, very beautiful, lovely example here. Lighting condition here is fiber optic transmitted. A beautiful example of unheated sapphire. This is called fingerprint. This is called fingerprint inside the sapphire. Because it is like human fingerprint. This are negative crystals. Remember, these are the negative crystals. We discussed earlier also, negative crystals. You know positive sign in mathematics, negative sign in mathematics. These, these crystals are like negative sign. So we are giving the name negative crystal for that. In sometimes we can see the daughter crystals. Near the negative crystals, we can see some small crystals like this. Those are called daughter crystals. Negative crystals, daughter crystals are the two words we are using here. Now here, this is the example of fingerprint. Fingerprint is consist of negative crystals and daughter crystals. We are moving. A crystal 
embedded in the fingerprint. The, around here, you can see the fingerprint. In the center of the fingerprint, we can see the big negative crystal and crystal embed. This is called crystal embedded in the thing, fingerprint. It produces the brilliant reflection in this unheated sapphire from Sri Lanka. This is unheated one. We can see the around environmental crystal, uh, environmental negative crystals and fingerprint is not damaged by the overheat or high pressure. The lighting condition here is fiber optic oblique. <coughs> now, what is this here? Very, very beautiful thing is there. Small diaspora needles are inside this uh, crystals. Inside the crystals, you can see the diaspora needles. Lines, these lines are called diaspora needles. Inside these crystals, diaspora needles are there. Remember this word, diaspora needles are the very famous inside the sapphires. Small diaspora needles are found within the negative crystals. Within the negative crystals, these are negative crystals inside the negative crystals in natural Sri Lankan sapphire. This is proving us the stone is natural. What is this here? Lighting condition here is five optic oblique. Look at this big negative crystal. This is big negative crystals. And inside the negative crystals, carbon dioxide bubbles, carbon dioxide bubbles and black graphite crystals, graphite crystals. <clears throat> we can see inside this negative, big negative crystal, carbon dioxide bubbles are here. Carbon dioxide is a gas and black crystals are graphite crystals. Such inclusions cannot tolerate heat treatment and are thus evidence of natural unheated origin. See the <coughs> environment. <coughs> this environment shows us the clear fingerprint and this is big negative crystal. So, this is natural untreated sapphire. This is the last lesson regarding natural sapphire inclusions. We are moving next to heated inclusions, sapphire inclusions. Before that, we are entering into next part, let's, lesson 63. We are learning how to see the gem with 10x loom. How to see the gem with 10x loom. Next Let's use the 10x triplet lens correctly. Always follow the lesson number, you will win. Please subscribe and share to our youth. We are meeting on lesson number 63.